Hi there and welcome to another edition of the LLM Diaries here on Buster.net. These are the Gloucester series diaries and we have to bounce back from a crushing defeat. Gloucester, we have lost a few games. Last season I think we lost about 4 games. But this season we had a very good unbeaten run right at the start of the season. And we even beat Portsmouth 6-2 which is a great result. Then we beat MK Dons, another promotion um, side them another side that achieved promotion from uh, the league below and then we had this match against Newcastle we got off to a very very good start I was so impressed with our start uh, the way we we opened the uh, Newcastle up in the sixth minute it was sweet um, and we got off to a great goal I mean it was a great goal and in fact up to about uh, the 30th or 40th minute mark we was we were pretty comfortable uh, we were doing pretty well. Gloucester City had no issues. I mean, uh, about 20... Uh, sorry. Hmm. So there we were. We, so there we So Gloucester City, they've had a very good start to the season. And I don't often lose by big margins. Um, and sometimes they happen. In this match, uh, we were playing against uh, Newcastle. We got off to a very good start. Rovini, Hanks, Hanks plays a nice pass to Bone one times it to McCallum one times it to Rovini inside the box scores I'm jumping off my chair going yeah six minutes well that joy didn't last for very long uh, it didn't last very long at all because something happened and the back uh, we had them going down the lines Bakali Worked inside the box. Danny Ng scoring a very simple goal. At this point in time, I still thought we were in with a chance. You know, we had... At this stage of the game, we actually had more clear-cut chances than Newcastle. All right, We had carved them out many times. We just couldn't score. And I thought we had a very good chance. And I was thinking to myself, no worries, we'll do it. And then Baldi, my idiot defender, does this. He plays the ball when he should just put it out to touch. Gives Shelby Ings they score and that's it after that goal the floodgates open and it didn't take long for them to score a few more 56 60 66 and i always say this following a mistake you better do something i didn't do anything and i paid the price you know normally i react really quickly when i go a goal behind and uh, I will do things like show up my defense move players around but i don't know something in that game this game I, I just didn't react. I just I was probably more angry that Baldi made a mistake, and that cost us uh, the biggest defeat of the season. Well, we are still in the playoff spots with 24. The leaders are nine, five points clear. Uh, my goal is very simple. I mean, I just want to get somewhere around between fifth and eighth. As long as I can keep within this band, I should be okay for the season. And to be honest, we're doing all right. We only we only lost once this season. We drew six times away, and we have won six times. <laughs> at home we beat uh we've we've won six times rather and we have uh drawn six times uh we've we've had some pretty big wins away from home mk dons well they're you know relegation they joined us so no biggie there uh we beat postmouth away that was a huge match opening day away win against nottingham forest but now we have a very big match against brighton so brighton is our next match and we really have to come to grips with this so i have to we are playing away from home, so I've this, you know, nowadays what I do is my tactics is pretty simple. I've got funk and punk. These are my two tactics, and I also got this tactic I yet to come up with a name for. I don't know, I'm, I don't know what to call this tactic. Uh, so I, don't ask me why I put a ball-winning midfielder in defense. Therefore, it should be just a central midfielder on defense. But a ball-winning midfielder on defense is not a bad move either. So I just leave him there. <laughs> Reason being, you've got three. Right. If you have three of them, then you can have a ball-winning midfielder on defense. And uh, I've had an issue with this boy, Jack Finch. He's throwing um, temper tantrums at me at the moment, insisting that he wants to play in the right position. So I, I put him on a transfer list, and um, I'm I re actually I need him more than him being on the transfer list. So we'll just have to see how this goes. And we're gonna. We're going to use Da Funk in the next match. And I'm not going to use an anchor man. I know that anchor mans are all right, but the problem with the anchor man is um, he doesn't really venture far from his spot, right? So when he closes down, he 
he doesn't close down rather compared to a dm on support or a dm on defend uh, an anchor man has got a smaller closing down radii and he literally acts like an anchor he's a water carrier so i don't really want finch to be a water carrier it's a waste of his aggression and his closing down and his you know his determination he's actually a player that covers a lot of uh, grass on a pitch so we're gonna have the same lot playing uh Baldy made this humongous mistake, so he's gonna be on the bench. I kind of, I mean, he's a good defender, but uh, that was a terrible mistake from Baldy in the last game. In goal, we have um, Hugo Cato is back, and we'll go with this uh, lineup: Rovini, McCallum, Bone, Hanks, Finch, Wright, Artavari, Diavolan, Flanagan, and Kennedy. This is the tactic, and once again. I've been mean, using this tactic. It's been pretty solid defensively this whole season. But as you can see, the morale of the team is shot after the 6-2 defeat. We were doing okay. Our morale was all right in a, in a bit of a happy zone. But that big defeat just sank us immediately. So I haven't had to handle morale sapping defeats in a long time. So guess what? I decided to do a show to see whether I'd win or lose in the next match. Wow. All right, this diamond is... Uh, diamonds are a bit of an annoyance. I think they're one of the better tactics as well to be used. Uh, they can be extremely potent and they can rip apart a team easily. And if their fullbacks get into your half, you can be in a world of hurt. So it's either I outnumber their diamond in midfield or I outnumber them defensively. But if I were to do this, then my issue would be I need these guys up front. So the diamond has got these four that you can bypass as well. It's not that hard to bypass these four. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 4-3-3 three, three that I've been using. And I'll use this against the diamond. Alright, so our players are all set. And uh, I have to ma make sure that defensively as well, we have passing options. So we'll go fairly narrow. And uh, we'll attack them as much as we can. All right, the boys are ready. And I'll play on standard flex structured away from home. Okay, the match is off. Arthur Worry with the ball. Arthur Worry plays it out to Rovini. Rovini back to Hanks. I'm glad to see the highlights. I haven't gone to a commercial break yet. Right to Kennedy. This all goes very well. Rovini. Hanks, can we get a goal, boys? Kennedy, if you have, if you're still showing me the highlight, ah man, I thought it was gonna be a goal. I thought it was gonna be a goal. Yeah, it's a goal for them. Damn it, <laughs> free kick right into the upright, on the, yeah, the crossbar rather. Okay, six, seven minutes in, we're still holding it tight. Um, and in terms of possession, midfield we seem to be doing that okay. And they have another. Oh, they have a long throw in the Arsenal. Kato gets there. All right, uh, hmm. they've got a full back, two fullbacks on attack. So the thing is here, we look for their fullbacks. Rovini, back to Hanks. Hanks to McCallum. McCallum has to hold up the ball. Holds it up for Rovini. Rovini, back to Hanks. We're not really over committing in terms of uh, numbers. Okay, my fullback has gone into an attacking transition. So McCallum waits for a run for Bone. Bone inside the box and Bone scores. The goal. you beauty. All right, we're taking the lead. But the last time we took an early lead, we conceded six. So now I have to be very, very uh, patient. I I don't know what to do. Every time now, every time Gloucester takes an, uh, the lead first, I get this hurricane coming at me. Okay, from championship sides, they like they like going. Have we allowed them to score a goal? And they start hammering, ham peppering my goal with attempts. Um, in the last match against, um, I, yeah, we conceded six goals. It was quite a shocking performance against Newcastle. So now we've got a game against Brighton. Hopefully, we can do enough. And so far, Brighton's, so far we've been able, to, I, I'm, I hope we've been able to nullify their 4-4-2. Four, four, ball win with the ball. Plays it out to field. Field back to Nutson. Williamson into Woodburn. Woodburn from Liverpool. Shit, scores the goal. You... <clears throat> Damn it. Didn't last long. <sighs> oh, 
Well, shit happens. All I do is observe 40 minutes, 45. Guys, okay, uh, we're not doing that badly, I guess. Uh, we, we had a great goal, but we still don't seem to be opening them up. A lot of our attacks are going on the right flank when they should be going on the left flank. Okay, so we're going to make a change. I'm going to turn him to go on attack. This guy to go on support. And this guy to go on attack. Rather, this guy will be on uh, wing back on support. Okay, boys, let's go. We have a chance here. To turn the to turn the tables on Brighton, but it won't be an easy match. Klaku, Williamson, to Dempsey, to Forestieri, Hanks to Rovini, uh, Nutson with a long throw. Right clears that, but it's only as far as the Nutson. Nutson plays it back to Klaku. Now that's a name that sounds like he's either from a Star Trek movie, Klaku, or he could be a. NPC from the game World of Warcraft. Davenport to Dean to Williamson. Oh, Finch. He would, who wants to leave the club? De Havilland. And the boys can't seem to get the ball out. Dempsey again to Forestry to Woodburn. Woodburn inside the box. Cato with a tidy save. But Woodburn goes back to pick up the pieces. Not satisfied. He's put the ball in the box. But it's cleared by the defenders. Only as far as feel. Okay, the boys are doing okay. I mean, um, I'm not seeing... You see, I'm not seeing them able to pull my pull the boys out too much. So that's okay. Woodburn again. Finch. Well, Woodburn draws a foul from Finch. Nutson with the free kick. Ah, well wide. Alright, boys. Keep it up. Okay, what we're going to do is now retain possession. Alright, Clarko with the throw to Rovini. Right now to Hanks. Okay, I'm looking at my players. So I, I like the fact that they run, trying to run into behind the defensive line. That's nice. All I need and I hope for is for the AI to lose possession while they're attacking. That would be nice. Davenport at the back plays it to Dean now Dean with the ball ah, after worry with the ball can he yes he does the bone I don't believe it bone to him yes we've scored oh my lord what a pass from the back <laughs> holy cow the defender after worry a deep diagonal to bone and Bone somehow manages to bone them with McCallum. <laughs> All right. Okay, we have somehow from scored a goal against the run of play. And they've gone to an attacking 4 2 3 one wide. Okie dokie. Small change to tactics. Uh, you are now on support. You are now a fullback on support. There's a long way to go yet. Gloucester against the run of play. Can we hold on to this lead? Make a substitution. Zzz, no need. We don't need a substitution. 68 minutes. I don't see if... Okay, where do you... Sometimes you on highlights like this, you don't see anything happening. It's good news. All right, so if there's nothing to show. Come on, Bone. You can break any number of Bones out there. Just make sure that we win. Macaulay is having a phenomenal game. All right, we're just waiting for this. The clock is going. Ten minutes to go. Five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. Okay, Kato with a goal kick. This is not good. Five days. Still five minutes of highlights to be played. Right to Bone. Bone holds on to the ball. Plays it to McCallum. McCallum pulls a few players to him. Right. Bone. Bone loses. Ah, this is not good. Forestry plays a beautiful pass. Kennedy does well. You know, okay, this is where we screw things up. <laughs> we try to clear the ball from the back. McCallum takes it down so well. McCallum, oh, he can't. McCallum took it down well. Forestry inside the box. Forestry looks up. He sees Dempsey. Dempsey hits the upright. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <sighs> okay, 15 shots by Brighton. Against our three. And we somehow or another managed to sneak a goal. We have a corner, Rovini, into the air. Smithies holds on to the ball. He looks up. There's only eight seconds. Six, five, four. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. 
I don't believe it. We have FM Brighton. Yes, we have. Lawson 2, Brighton 1. We have FM Brighton. You beauties. I mean, look at the stats. In which universe did we deserve to win this game? Okay, all right. Okay, we have four shots on target. That's, that's 100%. We had one clear cut chance, so we played quite well actually. Oh, all things considered, yeah, that's like telling me myself that it was a good job. But on, there weren't many highlights from uh, from Brighton anyway. I, did you see Brighton carving up a lot of chances? No, they didn't. We we carved out the better chances, and that uh, defeat Brighton just suffered allowed us to knock Brighton off. You know, put up a four point gap between us and Brighton, and now we are in. The playoff spots, still, we're still in the playoff spots. We have not been knocked out. The defeat to Newcastle, 6-2. We bounced back with a 2-1 win over Brighton. So how's my scout squad's morale right now? That's the interesting thing. The morale has improved. The boys are smiling again. And we have a chance of going further in the competition. I want to thank all of you for continuing to support this channel. I want to thank my patrons for continuing to support this channel with their kind donations. If you want to have, find out more information on how you can join our community and Discord chat, please visit www.patrol.com slash busternet. If you want to ask me any questions, you can find me in all the usual places. You take care. Bye-bye.